We're back in store at Anita's. Anita, your ranges are beautiful. Do you have a favorite? Um, I wish I could say that. And why would I have a favorite if I have all of them here? But yes, favorite because uh, there's some designers I like because of the, especially because of the way they cut their garments. There's some designers I like because of they play in color. There are some designers I like because of very contemporary, but has they have a bit of something that brings it close to home. Um, yeah, no, I don't really have one particular design I'm very fond of. I like most of what they most of them do here. And talk us through this designer, this range over here. Uh, this is, uh, I'd like to believe, is my range for the brides, you know, the contemporary bride. And you've got the ethnic, uh, uh, very typical, heavily embellished uh, lenga here with a blouse that goes from velvet to brocade and it brings in a bit of gota with the net on the dupatta and all that embellishment going which I think is a very traditional in my language very traditional and then you've got this one here which is a, ter a ter very contemporary gota and she sort of brings in with the purple it comes in a turquoise blue yeah. which is a very unusual combination yeah. and uh, is is that bride who is I think wanting to wear the lenga because of its shape, but not wanting to get into the traditional reds and greens, which is typically what we find most of us do. And then we go into this, which is another designer well, from Pakistan uh, called uh, um, Asifa and Nabil. And they do the most amazing cuts. Now, when I was talking about cuts, they manage their fabric so beautifully. They fill it up with the most intricate, I mean, I've never seen such fine embroidery on a garment as this one has. And this is a narkali, right? Uh, this is, is this a form? This is a form of a narkali, that's right, it is, yes. Uh, a, a normal narkali from what we've understood it over the years. Now, that's another gorgeous garment. Look at the look, look at the oh, cut that, of that. that it's just beautiful. delightful. Even the back of it. And that is the back, guys. Let's look at the back of this garment. It's just absolutely spectacular. Now, this is what I love about uh, Asifa and Nabil's clothes is they're very, very, very uh, innovative with their styling and their colors and the cuts. And you have to wear one of these to believe it. They're just... The way they flow. Yeah, it's like a, like a swan uh, sort of uh, gliding through water, literally. Yeah. That's how pretty it is when it's worn. And how much does something like that cost a customer? This particular garment is priced at about 2000 2000 or is it 1900 I have to look at it. Sorry. No, sorry. I'm sorry. 1295 So, okay. so for the work on it, I think it's, uh, it's the throwaway price. It really is. Yeah. So this is more your bridal range? Yes, this is, yes. But you also have saris here yes, and stuff we as well? Do. Yes, there's a sari here which is absolutely gorgeous in my in my language. It's just the whole thing is embroidered. Look at that garment. It's that's the thing. And with that comes this and completely unbelievably different uh blouse with green and uh long sleeves and all of that very very different and it's net the sleeves i noticed that i'm mean, starting to notice that a lot recently there's yeah. quite a lot of net at the moment isn't there yeah it's i think it's it's that whole uh, concept of bringing in the the mughal uh, you know feel of having your arms covered but yet because they're you, they use chiffons or they use net it's it's see-through so there's a bit of uh, uh, you know you see me now and you don't see me now sort of feel it to the whole thing yeah yeah definitely definitely and i noticed the colors are very rich throughout the whole store but isn't that what asia is all about that's exactly the food the spices yeah, yeah, yeah definitely not asia if it's not rich it's not asia i can it's the synergy is just goes hand in glove it has to be so definitely we are we are known for our very vibrant colors vibrant food vibrant people vibrant looks so I guess it goes. And what about the accessories? So I've noticed you've got bags around and jewellery. Um, how do you have to? Yeah, all, all of that. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, uh, again, it's if you really look at the shoes and the bags that I have, eh, they're all one off pieces and they're all very statement pieces. So it's not about having. Uh, you know, uh, 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 like a statement piece out of um, Hermes is there, what is it called? That Birkin. Yeah, Birkin. 
Birkin bag. <laughs> the queue for that's slightly long. We try to get my name on that for a while. <laughs> So have a Birkin bag and yes, so I've arrived. No, this is a different story. This is yeah. completely different. They're works of art. Each one of these bags, if you look at them, is a lot of thought that's gone into yeah. it. One of my most favorite ones are this is this one out here, which is a calligraphy. Uh, and I used to, I had a range of about six of these, and each one of them has a little message inside, which comes with the bag. Like this one says, "Charming as a moon." So that's what this reads. This is charming as a moon, and I think this 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 bag these bags were really really did really well with us. Uh, a little message there, bring in a bit of the uh, you know the um, Middle East through over there, and uh, yeah, that's that's what uh, these little things catch my fancy. Yeah. yeah. And these little things make a difference, don't they? they? Do. It does. Yes, it does. I mean, there's just so much variety out there. Why not go? That's, isn't that what fashion's all about? Absolutely. It has to be variety. It has to be different. It has to be something that makes you special yeah. uh, from the rest of them. Otherwise, you just become one big mass. Yeah. Individuals, I think yeah. that's what it's about, fashion yes. statement. Yes. And you've also got a male range in here. Should we take a look at that? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so we're here looking at the men's range now. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Uh, not as exciting as the women's <laughs> one, so I don't know. It never is, yeah. it never is. <laughs> it's, uh, we actually, the, the men's range, uh, uh, unlike the women's, uh, the user moment is ba mainly for weddings. So we're catering to the man for his, you know, the achkan. So you've got one look which is uh, very sort of creamy white there with all of that. And then you've got this, which I think is a very, very new, innovative uh, style. The garments cut beautifully in this case. I wish I could get one, uh, the gentleman there to come and try it on, but he doesn't want to. But uh, it's a lovely uh, piece there. And then this one, which is somehow for London, has turned out to be the most, this has been one of the most popular styles that I've I can had. see that actually. I can it's an achkan, but what, it, what they do is end up doing some sort of a border there or something, but it gives them a very... Uh, uh, a, a very contemporary f uh, a cut to their uh, achkans, you know, as opposed to wearing the typical with the collar and all that embroidery. This has been one of the pop most popular, and especially from the, uh, you know, when you have the uh, the Asian girl getting married to a, to a Western man, and he's wanting to get into one of our uh, typical achkans and dress like a in Indian groom would do, uh, uh, but doesn't want to, be, you know, get bogged down. He tends to go for a shape like that and, you know, maybe a little embellishment, just yeah. like this one's been a very other popular one as this. Simple, clean lines, not too much work, very, very crisp. That seems to be the London... A bit more simple for the gentleman yes, than you're finding. Yes. I find the heavily embellished ones don't do as well in London, for, at least where I'm concerned or my store is concerned. So if, if the gentlemen want to come in and match themselves to the brides, can you do that for them? Of course we can, completely, because this uh, designer also does the ladies' wear. Okay. So there's a, yeah, the, she, you, you know, one can say, okay, it's the groom of the same bride and the synergy comes in with their clothes. Definitely complementing each other. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the tendency, I tend to always uh, ask my, the groom why he would, would like to be dressed similar to the bride, you know. I would rather just say, if you're wear, she's wearing red, put a red handkerchief in your pocket yeah. or wear, wear a something small where we bring in the bit of red somewhere and, and tie them and together tie them together as opposed to matching each other or looking like twins or something like yeah. that i tend to always say that but then they come in with different views and yes we can cater to that yes and we have catered to that yeah fantastic well you've got beautiful stuff thank you for letting us come here today thank you for being here it was a pleasure brilliant guys i recommend you definitely come down and check out anita's